you to do this, and uh, so we owe it all to you. Um, for me personally, I don't feel that I'm standing here because I have a bit of fucking talent. Um, it's because you think I do, and and that's an amazing, amazing thing. Um, and so it lets me do this instead of flipping burgers or trying to, you know, sell your credit cards over the phone or something. Um, but I do appreciate you each very, very dearly. Thank you very, very much. Actually, I'm going to tell you a little story. I wrote this song when I was really young. I know you like my music, but I'll fucking hurry up, man. I'm sorry. It's just a good story. Um, I was really young when I wrote this. I was probably fucked. Like, really young. Younger than I am now, so that's pretty fucking young, you know. Um, and I remember I was driving with my mom, and we were going down the road, and she heard this song, and she thought that it was quite, you know, that it was sweet, but it was impossible. Um, There's no way that love could, could, could be like that. And though I know that she loved my father to, to, to pieces, and they, they still love each other. They've been married for like 40 fucking years, I think. Yeah, I think 40 years. Um, and, uh, and I remember thinking in my mind, and not saying it to my mom, I remember thinking, bullshit! There can be love like that. I think there can be love like that. And when I wrote this song, it was to nobody. Nobody. Just somebody in the future that maybe I would meet. Hell, I was like 16 years old singing about things I knew nothing of. But then one day I met the lady who fitted this song. And it became true. Quite amazing. Yeah. And it is called, I Keep Having These Dreams. And my wife, she actually walked down the, uh, the aisle to this song when we got married. It was pretty, it was pretty rad. Something else. I don't think 
God need and he said, but Jesus.